today I'm going to show you how to cut your t-shirts. Um, I wore a cut up t-shirt and everybody wanted to know where I got it and everything. Well, I did it myself. I decided to, to do um, my hem shirt. So I'm going to share with you how I did that on camera. So first you'll need a t-shirt of your choice, brand new or old out of your closet. Um, scissors, of course. Some that cut really good on fabric. Um, some kind of tape, especially if you're going to do fringes or anything. I don't think I'm going to do fringes, but just in case. Uh, clothes pins to mark off, um, and pin off areas. And beads. Uh, these beads I got in a, uh, big tubs at Walmart for $5 a tub. I got two different tubs, and the container t cost me $2, and me and my husband uh, sorted them and put them in the container. But if you choose to only do like one shirt or something, you were looking for a cheaper option, then uh, I found these at the Dollar Tree. Uh, there were a dollar for 400 beads, and these are just pony beads. Um, nothing special, you know, um, about them. They're just colored beads. Um... So if you choose to have any beads or anything, then you can get yours at the Dollar Tree or do like I did if you plan on doing more. But first, you're going to need to get your shirt out right. Try to make sure that it's even. Just like that. And you're going to need to get your scissors and first you're going to cut her neck. Which I think that I'm going to have the neck be about um, an inch, an inch and a half. Okay, just like that. And you're just going to... Start cutting around the collar. Once you finish cutting your neck, keep your collar and all the extra fabric on there because you can cut that up for strips of beads, fringes, uh, tying off your uh, shoulders here to make the shirt fit differently, um, all kinds of things. So keep the collar. Next, I'm going to take and fold the shirt basically in half. So it's going to look like this. Like, you want to make sure that all the sides, everything matches up. Because if you don't, you could have a mess on your hands. A big boo-boo in your shirt. To have it straight, I pinned it so it would stay straight. So now what we're going to do is turn it towards us. And I'm going to make the slits in the sides. Um, and... The final steps, of course, will come at the end where we do all kinds of stretching and stuff. But for now, we're just getting the basic cuts down. So, I want the cuts along the side to probably be about a half, half of an inch apart. By folding the shirt, you can do both sides at the same time. You're going to get the same uh, cuts on both sides if you do it like this. But if you do it the other ways, you're not going to get the same cuts. You can go in as far as you want. I'm probably going to go in about an inch and a half. What now? We're actually cutting about two and a half inches to probably three inches actually off of the side here. Now we're going to remove our markers. Um, as you can see here, all the fringe or the slices, whatever you want to call it, on the sides are done now. So for both sides of the t-shirt actually. So now I'm going to take and go ahead and do the back of the t-shirt, which 
You want to try to get this centered as well. Okay. And what I like to do here is also mark it with the clothes pins. This will help uh, it to stay in place uh, when you're trying to cut. And kind of mark where, uh, how far you want it to go down. And the slices in the back can be as long as you want them to be, really. So, I'll probably do about four to five, six inch uh, strips in the back. And I like to... Just cut them like that, and you want them to be about, I don't know, a half of an inch thick anyways, and keep going. I start with a smaller one at the top, and then they get progressively about a half an inch longer every time. I'm finished with my back part. Now, as you can tell, I still have quite a bit of room left, but you can go as far as you want to. Um, it doesn't matter. It's all about personal preference. Now, this is just what I like. So now, as we get up here, also, um, you're going to want to fold your shirt again. the sleeves are straight you're going to mark this off you're going to cut your sleeves too now for to do like a some kind of fringe or something you will cut your shirt this way on your sleeves but we're going to do the the ripped look and we're just going to start cutting basically you can go as deep as you want to with these These ones are a little bit wider than what I did on the rest of the shirt, but that's how I like to do my sleeves. And now you're going to do the stretching part. And you want to do this in a way that you're not going to rip your shirt to bits either because it's pretty cut up. But you just stretch the neck of your shirt like this. And it will cause the fabric to curl. You also want to do it for your sleeves. Any part that you cut. Let's go ahead and stretch that out. So you have like your back ripped up, your arms, your sides, and you could wear your shirt just like this without adding any beads, 
But if you want to add beads, what you do is you take the collar of your shirt and you cut this fabric off here. And you can and cut this into strips for beads. Uh, now that I have a strip cut, I'm just going to show this one time on camera because it's really simple. You want to stretch your fabric out. And I have clear and red beads here, so I'm going to do a clear. So basically you just thread them onto your fabric. Bead strings can be used for uh, multiple things. Um, to tie your shoulders off on your shirt. Uh, to be fringe lines at the bottom of the sides of your shirt. But what I would use this for, because the neck is really um, big and will fall off. It would be like an off the shoulder thing. But like I like to take the sleeve here, bunch it up. This way you have options of how you can wear it. It's not just one final cut and you're done. Um, because this is optional. Um, these beads. And you can tie your shoulder up like this. And then have the other one off, you know, the shoulder. So, just kind of like that. You can tie it in a bow if you want to. But that's just an example of what you can do with the beads. Now, our shirt is completely finished. I'll show pictures. I'll show a picture of it on me personally so you can see it um, and all the above. So, uh, stay tuned for more um, how-to videos like this because I know I have a couple more ideas. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you uh, find the time to make your own. And uh, thank you guys for watching.